In this lesson, we're going to go over some examples where we use the simple interest formula that we discussed in the last video, and hopefully that is going to clear things up for anybody who is confused. So here we have one example, and it says that Jane puts 8,000 Rand in a savings account that pays 3% simple interest per annum. Remember, PA is an abbreviation for per annum, which just means per year. How much will she have in her account after six years? So to tackle this question, let's first start out by writing down our simple interest formula. And that was that the amount that we have after a certain amount of time has passed is equal to the principal amount, that is the amount that was initially loaned or initially deposited, so that is our initial amount, multiplied by one plus I n and I is going to represent our interest rate so in this case it is 3% simple interest and n is the number of years. So what I like to do is to write down the different parts of this formula that we do know. We know that the principal amount P is equal to 8,000 Rand. That is how much she is going to initially have in her savings account. It is our starting number. We also know our interest rate, I. I is going to be 3%, 3%, which we are going to express as a decimal, in which case it's going to be 0 0.03. Our N is our number of years, and our number of years is 6 years. So N is equal to 6 years. What about our A? Our A is going to be the amount that we have in our account after those six years. So A is what we are trying to figure out. That is our unknown that we are trying to calculate in this question. So let's set up our equation by plugging in everything that we know so far. So if we were to do that, we're going to get that A, which is what we are looking for, is equal to P, which is 8,000 Rand, multiplied by 1 plus I, which is 0 0.03, times N, which is 6 years. So this is the calculation that we have to do now. So if we expand this 8,000 into these brackets, we're going to get 8,000 multiplied by 1, which is just 8,000. Then we have a plus sign here. We're going to have 8,000 times 0 0.03 times 6. So we have 8,000 times 0 0.03 times 6. That is what we're going to get when we expand this out. So we know that the amount that is going to be in her account after those six years is going to be 8,000. And you can recall that this is just our principal amount. And we know logically that we're going to have the principal plus whatever interest was paid. And this calculation right here, 8,000 times 0 0.03 times 6, is just our principal times our interest rate times the number of years. So if we put this into our calculator, 8,000 times 0 0.03 times 6, we are going to get 1,440. And if we add these together, that is going to give us our total amount that is going to be left in her savings account after those six years have elapsed and that is going to be 9,440 Rand. And that is our final answer. Let's go over another example. John borrows 200 Rand from the bank at an 8% simple interest rate per annum. He pays back the loan in full at the end of three years. How much is he going to have to pay the bank? So at the end of those three years, how much is he going to have to pay the bank? So again, let's start out by writing down our formula. We know that the amount that's going to have to be paid at the end of those three years is going to be equal to the principal amount multiplied by 1 plus I times N. This is the A pin formula. And let's write down what we already know. We know that the principal amount, the initial amount of money that was borrowed, is 200 Rand. So our principal is 200 Rand. We know our interest rate, I, 
is equal to 8% per annum. So that's 8% or as a decimal 0 0.08. Our n is our number of years and in this case it is 3 years. That is how long this term is going to be. So our n is 3 years. Our a is what we are going to have to calculate. That is what this question is asking. It's asking how much is he going to have to pay the bank at the end of those three years if this is his principal and it is at an 8% simple interest rate. So A is what we are trying to calculate in this question. It is our unknown. So if we plug in what we know into our formula, we are going to get that A, the amount that he is going to have to pay the bank at the end of those three years, is equal to our principal, which is 200 rand, multiplied by 1, plus our interest rate, which is 0 0.08, multiplied by the number of years. In this case, 3 years. And now we can expand this 200 into the brackets. That is going to give us 200 rand times 1 is just 200 rand, plus, because we have our plus sign here, then we're going to multiply our 200 rand times our 0 0.08 and times 3. So we have 200 times 0 0.08 times 3. And that means that we're going to have our 200, which is our principal, plus, if you put this into your calculator, 200 times 0 0.08 times 3, you are going to get 48 rand. And this is our interest. So this is the principal and this is the interest that we paid on that principal. So in total, John is going to have to pay the bank 248 rands at the end of the three-year period. Let's go over another example. Two years ago, Matthias deposited money into a simple interest account that pays 5.5% per annum. After two years, he has 5,600 rand in his account. How much money did Matthias initially deposit in his account? So this question is a little bit different than the ones that we have just done because we're not being asked what the final amount is after paying a certain amount of interest on a principal for a period of time. This time, we are asked to determine the initial money that was in his account. So we are asked to find the principal amount. So let's start out by writing down our A pin formula. A is equal to P times 1 plus I times N. So A is the amount of money that he has in his account after those two years where interest was paid at 5.5% per year. So our A is going to be 5,600 Rand. Our P, that is what we are trying to calculate. That is our principal amount. That is going to be the amount that he initially deposited into his account that he started with. Our I is the interest rate and our interest rate is 5.5% per annum. So 5.5% per year, which is going to be 0 0.055 in decimal Form. And n is our number of years, in this case, two years. So if we put this into our formula, we are going to get that 5,600 rand is equal to our principal multiplied by 1 plus 0 0.055 times our n, which is two years. Now we can expand this out to simplify this further, but let's just write down what we have on this side of the equation first. 5,600 rand is equal to 1 times P is going to be P plus 0 0.055 times 2 times P. So if we multiply 0 0.055 by 2, that is 0 0.11. So if we're multiplying P, by 0 0.055 times 2, that is going to be 0 0.11p. So now on this side, we have 5,600 rand, and we have 1p here and 0 0.11p over here. 
So if we add these together, 1 plus 0 0.11 is 1.11p. And now to solve for p, which is the initial amount of money that was put into his account, that is our principal amount, we need to divide both sides of the equation by 1.11. So 5,600 grand divided by 1.11 is equal to P. That means that P is equal to 5,045 and 5 cents. So that is what you are going to get if you plug this into your calculator. 5,600 divided by 1.11 is 5,045.05. And in South Africa, it is customary to use the comma as your decimal point, but you might see this as a period in other parts of the world. It is the same thing, 5,045 rands and 5 cents. So that is the initial money that he deposited into his account. This is the answer we were looking for. Let's go over one last example. Farah borrows 60 rand from her friend who agrees to loan her the money at a 12% simple interest rate per annum. When Farah pays her friend back, she has to give them 96 rand. How long did it take her to pay them back? So in this question, we are told that the initial amount of money that was borrowed is 60 rand. And at the end of some period of time, that is what we have to figure out how long that period of time was. At the end of that period of time, she has to pay them back 96 rand, which means that 36 rand, which is the additional amount that she has to pay on top of her 60 rand that she initially borrowed, is what she had accrued in interest that was charged at a 12% simple interest rate per year. So let's start out by writing down what we know. Here is our A pin formula. A is equal to P times 1 plus i times n. And our a is going to be our 96 rand. That is the amount that she is going to have to pay back after some period of time has passed and after she has paid interest on that principle. a is 96 rand. p, that is our principal amount. That is the initial amount of money that she had borrowed from her friend. That is 60 rand. Our interest rate, I, is equal to 12% per year. So 12% and as a decimal, that is going to be 0 0.12. N, which is the number of years, is what we are trying to determine. That is what we don't know in this case. So if we plug all of this into our formula, we are going to get that 96 rand, which is our A is equal to P, which is 60 Rand, multiplied by 1 plus 0 0.12 times N. If we expand the 60 out into the brackets, we're going to get that 96 Rand is equal to 60 Rand times 1 is just 60 Rand. We have our plus here, and we are going to multiply 60 by 0 0.12 and by n. So 60 multiplied by 0 0.12 is equal to 7.2. So this is going to be 7.2 times n. We can move this 60 rand to this side of the equation by subtracting 60 from both sides. So we are going to get that 96 rand minus 60 rand is equal to 7.2 n. 96 minus 60, that is 36 rand. So 36 rand is equal to 7.2 times n. And in order to solve for n, we need to divide both sides of this equation by 7.2. So if we take 36 divided by 7.2, that is going to give us the number of years that it took her to pay her friend back. 36 divided by 7.2 is equal to 5. So 5 years is how long it took for Farah to pay her friend back. And after those 5 years, the 60 rand that she borrowed turned into 96 rand that she had to pay them back. 
because that additional 36 rand that she had to pay them back was the interest that had built up over those five years when 12% was charged on that principal per year. So our final answer is five years.